Hey, all right, it's night 50. We've got a, a different bag to try tonight. I had a customer uh, loan me her uh, a down bag. It's a mountain, mountain hardware. In fact, let me show it to you. There you go. So we're going to try that one tonight. Right now it's not very cold at all. Uh, I looked at the thermometer, it's 24 degrees and some change in the decimals. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. We'll try the same thing in this bag, small clothes. Uh, I don't know exactly what it's rated for. I think she told me it's a zero degree bag. Hopefully it's a better rated zero than Wiggy's zero is. Uh, but we'll find out tonight. So, good night. All right, good morning. It's a little after 6.30. I'm in the uh, Mountain Hardware down bag. And uh, I'd be willing to bet that due to uh, the temperature being about 24 degrees uh, when I came to bed last night, it's probably around 20 degrees, uh, 20, 21 degrees this morning and probably that was close to the low, maybe 19 at the, at the lowest. Um, interesting thing about the bag, it's uh, snug. Uh, not as much room as the Wiggies bag or the foam bag, the Rapture bag. Uh, moving around wasn't so much of a problem, but if you're going to wear the foam clothing inside of a bag like this, it's going to be tight. Uh, these bags are built to to reduce the amount of space inside to help you uh, remain as warm as uh, possible without a whole lot of empty space. Uh, so we've got this bag and underneath me I can feel the cold through the ground coming through the pad and into the bag. So the feathers, the down in this bag compresses very tightly underneath me, especially on the, uh, <sighs> pardon me, the high compression spots like my hip, shoulder, and my elbows right now because I'm up on my elbows. Um, i wipe that off. There we go. Um, it's got a draft tube which you can pull around you which would be a good thing. Uh, I didn't use it last night. I didn't actually take a good close look at it um, until this morning, but I did notice that it's got the same challenge as the Wiggies bag does. It's got the drawstring closure at the top, and so uh, I tried closing it up as much as possible, but found the same effect in that I had I was laboring to breathe uh, inside this bag. It, it may be a uh, a combination of the, the fabric that they use. It's not quite as breathable um, and the uh, insulation that's, that's used, either the fiber or the down, that just doesn't allow um, for the breathing, but I, I suspect it's primarily the fabric um, because there's a lot of space uh, in the feathers and the the fiber that w should allow for some sort of airflow if there's a pressure difference. I haven't felt the outside of the bag yet to see if it's moist. I'll be doing that when I get up. Uh, if it is, I'll add to the end of this video. But uh, overall, um, it's a compressible bag, so it's easily easy to backpack. Uh, I don't know what the rating to this bag is. I'll have to look that up and see. I don't recall uh, my customer telling me what the rating was. They just uh, asked me if I would test it for them. So overall, um, good for backpacking. Not so good for an extended stay outdoors in particularly cold weather uh, due to the, the coldness. I woke up around five o'clock cold, not just from underneath, but uh, surrounding me as well. 
So it was just a little too uncomfortable for me to sleep. Anyway, I don't know that I'll be using this bag again. I think we'll get back to the, uh, the Wiggies bag with the over bag and the Rapture bag, the foam bag, and continue experimenting with those two. Um, unless there's something else that I can think of to do with this one. It doesn't come with an over bag. So, oh, and one other thing that this bag did, uh, uh, as well as the Wiggies, is that when I would roll around, um, it would billow and that cold air would come through that hole. And uh, it's like getting a cold shower every time I, I uh, would roll around uh, for my head and my shoulders and neck primarily. So I'm glad I wore the knit, knit cap last night as well. So that's it for last night and this morning. So good morning. Hey, I gotta put a quick uh, addition onto this video. I got looking up this uh, mountain hardware bag, which I didn't do last night, and found that uh, its rating is 15 degrees. And uh, that's going to be on the subtext in the video. But also, it's got an expander um, zipper to bring it close to your body during the close, uh, colder times when you're not wearing as much clothes, as well as you can expand it out if you're wearing more clothes. Um, so there will be additional space in that bag for foam clothing. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the full one-inch clothing, uh, but uh, we'll probably test it for another night and see uh, about those features and how that works. Anyway, good morning.